If you like cars and haven't been living under a rock for the last four years, you're probably familiar with the auction site Bring a Trailer, or BAT as the cool kids call it. And if you have been subterranean for the last few years, allow me to explain what Bring a Trailer is. It's basically the adult equivalent of being a kid in a candy store. And today, I'm going to tell you what it's like to sell a car on this magical website. But before I get into the selling process, I'll cover the basics. Bring a Trailer uses an auction format like eBay Motors, but unlike eBay, Bring a Trailer hand selects every vehicle they list, so you end up with only a collection of cool and interesting vehicles. Well, if I'm being honest, a few clunkers do slip through the cracks, but the vast majority of the cars listed on Bring a Trailer are the kinds of vehicles you'd stop to look at at Cars and Coffee. There are three other important details that separate Bring a Trailer from eBay Motors. The first is that BAT allows comments on all their listings, so you end up with a network of experts vetting every single car they have listed. Not sure if that's a factory color for a 1979 Peugeot 504? Don't worry, there's someone out there that'll be able to tell you. BAT also requires a credit card on file for all bidders, and the site places a 5% hold on every bid. This policy helps weed out the kind of seedy individuals that might place the winning bid, but don't actually have any intentions of buying the vehicle they've won. And the last, and I think most important aspect of Bring a Trailer is overtime. Anytime a bid is placed within the last two minutes of an auction, another two minutes automatically gets put back on the timer. And this goes on indefinitely until the clock strikes zero, which helps eliminate any last second sniping. Obviously, the first step in selling a cool or interesting vehicle is owning a cool and interesting vehicle. In my case, I'll be listing this, a 1999 Jeep Cherokee that I featured in an earlier video. Admittedly, an XJ Cherokee doesn't seem all that special on the surface, but trust me, this one is. That's because this is quite possibly the nicest XJ Cherokee left on the planet. This is a one owner example, just over 21,000 miles on the clock. And as icing on the cake, it's the best trim level and the best color combo from the best model year. When it comes to the XJ Cherokee, this really is the holy grail. Once you have a vehicle that you think is bring a trailer worthy and you're ready to sell it, the next step is to do an online application and send along a few photos of your vehicle. Someone from bring a trailer will then go over your application and decide if it's bring a trailer worthy or if you'll be stuck listing it on the Craigslist classified. Usually the whole application process just takes a day or two. I've been on both sides of the bring a trailer acceptance letter and the process is similar to that of waiting for your acceptance letter from college. Get in and you're ecstatic, but get rejected and you'll curse the day you learned about bring a trailer. I didn't want to sell my car on your stupid website anyway. If you request a reserve, which is a price your vehicle must hit in order to sell, you'll spend the next few emails haggling with the good people of Bring a Trailer over that price. Naturally, you'll go high. I would like a reserve of $30,000. They'll go low. A ham sandwich. And eventually you'll meet somewhere in the middle, six emails later. Fine, I'll take your reserve. The next step is to fork over your auction listing fee. It's currently $99, and then submit a full photo gallery of the vehicle you're selling. From there, BAT will write the entire auction copy and then send it to you for final approval. Now, in my experience, BAT's initial copy will have a few errors. Looks good, but Jeep is actually spelled with only one P. But they're quick to make any corrections. Once approved, your auction will usually go live within a few days. Seeing your vehicle listed for the first time is one of the most exciting parts of the Bring a Trailer experience. It's live! Unfortunately, that excitement quickly fades. Although Bring a Trailer's auctions run for seven days, pretty much nothing will happen in the first six days, 23 hours, and 58 minutes. You'll probably field some questions from potential buyers. <sighs> No, I do not have any records of when the hinges of the glove box were last serviced. But not a lot of bidding goes on in those first few days. Then, about an hour before the end of your auction, someone will inevitably ask for undercarriage photos. You're just asking for those now? And then, with just a few minutes left, the bids will start to flood in. Bring a Trailer's overtime feature almost always comes into play with bidding going down to the last second. If you've got a bad heart, Bring a Trailer might not be the selling platform for you. Once the bidding ends, you'll have one of three reactions. If your vehicle didn't meet its reserve, you'll feel relieved that you didn't lose your shirt and simply go on living your life. Mm. Oh well. If you got strong-armed into a low reserve and your vehicle hit that price, you'll be mad as a rabid dog. If you got the price you wanted, you can proceed with your happy dance. 
Now, although Bring a Trailer facilitates the sale of your vehicle, they don't have much to do with the actual buying process. At the conclusion of the auction, they'll put you in contact with the winning bidder, and then it's up to you to hash out a payment, usually via a wire transfer, and when and how the vehicle is going to be handed over. Once all that's done, the only thing left to do is count your money and plot your next terrible car decision. Ooh, a manual Jaguar X-Type. Oh, a first generation Audi TT. Alfa Romeo ran when parked. Hmm. A blue Land Rover Discovery. A Bentley Arnage. A Porsche Cayenne Turbo for how much? A BMW 750 with a rebuilt title.